Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm back for the first DVD update since um I did the uh, DVD collection overview, and this thing's already messed up once. I've already gone through all these once, so um, I'm just gonna go through them again. Hopefully, it won't mess up this time. All right, so uh, first we we'll start with uh, this I got. It is the um Saw trilogy, and yes, I already have the uh, Saw one through five. I haven't seen six yet, so I need to get that one or at least watch it. Probably watch it first. But uh, the reason I bought this was three bucks. And just in case you guys don't know what it is, it is Saw 1 uncut, 2 disc, Saw 2, 2 disc uncut, and Saw 3 uncut, 2 disc. So you know, that's a dollar a movie for 2 disc unrated versions. Um, so it was just an upgrade for me. You know, traded in the other ones and got another movie, so, you know, whatever. 3 bucks, definitely worth the upgrade. Um, uh, it has a 3D pop-out face and everything, so I could probably set it on top of my shelf. It won't fit. Next one I bought is um for it was for twenty dollars off of uh, eBay, uh, brand new when it came to me. Uh, so yeah, great, great pickup here is uh, Evil Dead Ultimate Edition, which is hard to find. I almost caved a few times and bought the uh, one disc Evil Dead at Walmart for five bucks, but I'm so glad I didn't because it's such a nicer edition, you know. Um, I have the Evil Dead 210, which is like the best edition I'm aware of uh, for Region ones. This one, again, like I said, best edition. And so I need to get Army of Darkness now, which is the best edition for that out. Screwhead edition. But yeah, 20 bucks. Can't beat this. Awesome. Next one, uh, got here. This one I asked, uh, Slow Rider 23 about, and he said that pretty much anything under, uh, anything under $10 was good for, to get it, you know. So I went ahead and bought it. It was, uh, like 8 bucks. It was Dog Soldiers, uh, Steelbook edition. Yeah, really great there. Um, to me, it's worth it for the steelbook. The eight dollars was worth the cool looking steelbook, you know. And it's a really nice steelbook. I like uh, the trees and stuff back here. But yeah, a uh, pretty good movie. You know, it seemed a little long in some of the parts, but uh, no complaints for the most part. Definitely worth the watch and so worth having the collection. Uh, a little cheesy. I know that's the debate about this movie the most is the cheesiness. A little cheesy, but you know the werewolves do look kind of real or real for werewolves in some of the parts, you know. Um, just cheesy in some parts, but you know, good movie. You know, sometimes you're in the mood to watch something with a little cheese in it, so that's pretty good. This one I got for five bucks. Thought it was worth checking out. It is the uh, Butterfly Effect Two, which was not bad at all. It was pretty good, actually, in my opinion. I bought it for uh, Erica Durham, which is the chick in the movie. She's from Smallville. But um, yeah, great movie. Um, you know, I didn't think the acting was bad or anything. Um. I actually kind of in, uh, enjoyed this movie a good bit, you know, especially for five bucks, great pickup, especially just to have in the collection since I have the first one. It's not as good as the first one, but still really good, you know. And I was thinking about picking up a third one I found for ten bucks today. So if you guys know anything about the third butterfly effect, or if you've seen it, let me know how it is or what you've heard about it, please, so I can figure out if I should get it or not. Okay, next one is um, uh, kind of like a Halloween movie or. To me, it is. And it's uh, Idle Hands, which is like a horror comedy starring Devin Sawa, Jessica Alba, Seth Green, Vivek A. Fox. Uh, this movie was hilarious to me. I saw it around Halloween. It was on On Demand in October, so um, yeah, laughed a lot in this movie. Uh, Devin Sawa also played Slackers, which is another comedy I need to get. But uh, you know, you can't go wrong with Jessica Alba, really, or Seth Green. Both those great actors and actresses, whatever. Great movie, definitely pick it up if you can. I think I got it for like seven dollars and still came with the insert and everything, so yeah. Great movie. Uh, really hilarious. Definitely check it out if you haven't seen it, but I think a lot of people actually have seen that one. So now we're going to the DVDs I bought today. Um actually just got back from getting them. I got this for four dollars and I saw it on Ryan 1988's uh DVD update. Uh and I've been wanting to see it for a while, so I just went ahead and picked it up today and it is a swim fan. Um, haven't seen it yet. Don't know really know much about it. Um, but it's supposed to be really good. So if you have anything about, it, let me know. Probably watch it pretty soon. Next one I bought is a basketball. Picked up for seven dollars. It's a uh, Trey Parker, Matt Stone, which is the guys that did um did do South Park, the direct and you know South Park. They didn't direct this movie. David Zucker did, who also directs a uh, directed the Naked Gun, which is uh, he also directed uh, My Boss's Daughter. Great comments like that, but this is a great movie, really hilarious. I haven't seen it in a while, and probably gonna watch this one tonight. Definitely worth the pickup. You can usually get it for pretty cheap, so if you haven't seen this one, pick it up. Uh, highly recommend it. Last one I bought tonight is um 
is a part of the After Dark Horror Fest. There's a movie called Dying Breed, which I got for $10. Uh, the, can't tell, yeah, you can see that skeleton that movie in there. It's a holographic slipcase. Um, the back looks pretty cool. You have a slash part to it. And it just, why is that the same cover? No. And it's just the summary and rating stuff in the back. So, yep. Dying Breed, I haven't seen this yet, but I heard it was really good. I uh, heard it was one of the better After Dark Horror Fest films, so I just went ahead and picked it up for 10 bucks. You know, a good friend told me that one. So, yeah, now we move on to the Blu rays, which I'll have a few of. I uh, got these for $10, uh, this one is a uh, push. I have seen this one. Watched it the other night. Uh, pretty good movie, you know. Um, can't say it's really cheesy because it is a sci fi action movie or whatever, but um, yeah, no, com no big complaints there. Pretty good movie, definitely worth watching though. Looked alright on Blu-ray, it's got a little bit of grain in it, I'm not sure how early this one was developed, but uh, pretty good Blu-ray, you know, Push is definitely worth checking out. So uh, yeah, overall I thought it was pretty good. Next one, I got that for 10 bucks at a mall, and the next one I got is uh, also for 10 bucks is Knowing. Uh, oh yeah, Push and Knowing were brand new, 10 bucks. So <laughs> that's why I bought them. I still haven't seen this one. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll watch this one pretty soon, um, as soon as I can, you know. But yeah, so um, I heard this one was pretty good. Heard the ending was uh the worst part of the movie, but the ending wasn't that bad. You know, I'll just be the judge of that myself. I've been wanting to see this one since it came out for years, so I went ahead and you know said, why not? And uh, okay, I found the cheapest DVD. I found this is seven bucks, so I went and paid ten for the brand new Blu-ray instead of the used seven dollar DVD of it. Uh, so yeah, knowing. Let me know if you guys have seen that. Let me know how it is. Um, last Blu-ray I got is uh, one I got for eight bucks used, but perfect condition. Uh, the case is a little messed up, but it's mainly from the stickers they freaking put on there. I hate the freaking new stickers. But um, it's Kevin Bacon and Stir of Echoes. Uh, this was written by the original book was written by one of my uh, newer favorite author authors, and it's from the guy that wrote uh, Hell House uh, or the Legend of Hell House. He wrote Iron Legend. He wrote uh, The Box, which is a newer movie that just came out. He wrote. I can't think of all the top names. He wrote a few of them. This movie actually creeped me out, you know. Um, I really, really like this. I'm surprised I haven't seen this in more people's uh, updates and collections and stuff. Yeah. Stir of Echoes. Definitely check it out if you get the chance, especially for $8 on Blu ray. Great. It looked pretty good on Blu ray, too. So, you know, no major complaints there. Really good movie. Definitely check out Stir of Echoes if you can. So uh, yeah guys, that's all my stuff for now. Um, yeah, I just want to say thanks for watching guys and thank you for all my subscribers. I'm 95 now. So let's, you know, come on guys, let's get to 100. Like, that's my main goal to get, you know, I'm surprised I have 95 and I just hope I can get to 100 pretty soon. But yeah guys, uh, thank you to all my subscribers who watch me and stuff. And everybody that's in a comment on this video, you guys are amazing. Uh, thanks for everything guys. Um, you know, if you have any recommendations or... If you guys ever want to do a special video or want to hear more about a movie, you know I just put up my most recent collection video so you don't have to watch all my updates and stuff. So if you see something there you want to know more about, let me know. You know I can send you a message or if you'd like a review on the on the actual edition and you know more in depth, let me know. I'd be happy to do that for you guys. So you guys are awesome. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys.